Hi, thanks everyone who came here today and spent their Saturday morning sit here and listen to my story. And this is my first time to share my personal stories with the public. I hope you all bear with me for a few minutes today. Uh, so simple background about me, I graduated from CHK, major in system engineering, and just several years ago, I'm like some of you who sit here today and wondering and feel the same struggles and pains and uncertainty about the future. Um, about the future. Constant? So uh, it is normal and in essential. Um, why? Because instead of giving you a big talk, I would rather to um, start from my personal journey to give you a more practical execution plan. So going back to the topic of today, it's talking about unbox yourself. So what is unbox? The official definition is to remove something from a box. Some of you may think people keep talking about thinking out of the box and it is not something fancy and it does not really give me the real value to get my day-to-day -day life. Or maybe some of you may think, I don't think inside the box and I don't think outside the box either. And most importantly, I don't even know where the box is. So the message I want to deliver today is that it is not a must for everyone to think outside the box but it is essential for everyone to realize our possibilities before making the right decision. People tend to stay in a place where they feel most comfortable, and I label them as the people who stay inside the box. And for the innovative type of people, I label them as the people who discover the door and could freely choose to go inside and get in, uh, go get in and out. So, just, in, just think about the people who firstly invented the airplane, the internet, and now enter the digital age about the cryptocurrency or virtual reality or AI. Each of them opened the door to lead the world and transform the lives of human nations. But actually, it's not easy to open the door. It requires knowledge, courage, as well as patience. So before talking about Unbox, let us think about where the box is located. And I found an interesting video clips and which might help you find the answer. is nowhere, it is here, it's in your mind, you are thinking box. Think inside box is good at the beginning, and one of my favorite quotes is to learn the rules like a pro and then break them like an artist. Actually, if you didn't define the box at the beginning, how you could get out of the box? I lived in Hong Kong for almost five years, and I changed a lot. I never think one day I could become and choose to become a TEDx speaker, but it's just happened naturally. And if you ask me what is my biggest failure in my past, I have to admit that I failed to adjust to the university life. Actually, I got into depression, and I really cannot perform my academic life really well, but I make a brief decision because I feel like I need to find a way out. So that's why I choose a year gap, because I want to settle down and recover, Many of my friends later ask, what did you do actually during your gap year? And they often regard me, my answer as a joke. I said, um, nothing, just think about the meaning of my life. But which is the truth, by the way. I read books and I travel along. I even work in uh, coffee, coffee shops, just want to experience the lives of people who are in the same age as mine. Because um, I feel like, um, because I feel like uh, it is, um, the self-reflection journey is uh, full of uh, pain and struggles. I want to experience all the possibilities before I make the decisions. It is a rewarding journey now for me when I look back because it really trains my mental muscle and helps me think clearly about what I truly want to become instead of following the norm. So the message I want to deliver today is that 
It's good to think inside the box at the beginning because you learn the rules, you admit your limit, and you need to observe and observe. So remember my first year of university, seems everyone around me already get their life plan. And I just keep, can't stop comparing with them and got into huge pressure. I believe some of you might uh, feel the same way. But I got to, actually, I got a really bad GPA during my first term. But actually, finally, I end up with a first class honor. So what I want to deliver is that it's OK to admit you are incapable of doing something at the beginning, because you identify your boundary and you admit your limit. And it is OK to fail at the beginning, because you need to learn the rules to do the things and prepare the attitudes to fail forward. So do not hesitate to try, even though you look unqualified at the beginning, because who knows, finally, you might prove to others that you are actually qualified. Remember always uh, asking the question, is this the life you want? Will you regret the decision at this moment when you're about to die? By the way, this is the important uh, reason why I overcome my fear. Actually, I'm a shy, shy type of person, and, but I still choose to stand on this stage because I feel like I will regret. And the decision you can make during your 20s or 30s, it is limited due to the time constraint. So you really need to be able to identify your true feeling. And if you are sure, unsure about whether you like it or not, I suggest you to do the opposite. You try to filter the unwanted choices. And remember to connect dot. And this is uh, told so many times, but I want to emphasize that you have to connect the dot around you, the practical dot, instead of those dots which is actually unreachable. And let me share my personal experience and my enlightening moment of how I find the door of the box. So it's all start from a small step. I, uh, I believe some of you might heard a program called Microsoft Go Spark. And actually, it's a three-day uh, competition trying to empower more girls into ICT industry. During that time, I met a group of excellent female uh, role model in technology industry. Somehow, I feel like it's a good initiative, and I somehow foresee this is the direction I want to pursue. But I'm not 100% uh, about whether it is right or wrong. So I choose to devote the time to continue this initiative to see what will happen. And my purpose is really simple. As long as I could influence one more people, I already see the value of myself, uh, just like the chain reaction in the chemistry world. After a while, you will get a feeling when you devote your time and energy into the something you truly believe is that opportunities will naturally come. And one of the uh, um, milestones to recognize my achievement is that I was actually selected uh, last year by Google um, within Asia Pacific as a woman tech maker scholar. And I met people who share the same vision as mine. And we even got into the media cover. And we built a long-lasting relationship. And we even uh, organized some cross-cultural events. But this is not the end. I keep exploring and try to expand my boundaries. And the community I'm working on actually was selected by the Australian government. Uh, they have a purpose to support women in STEM as well as innovation within the APEC region. And just last month, this is recently, I been to uh, Google Tokyo in March, and my, I met these awesome female engineers. I believe some of you might read the news. After one week later, before we met, she broke the record for the most accurate Pi value on Pi Day. So this is really amazing. How to describe these feelings? The people you met previously suddenly become the change maker to lead the world. And you feel empowered, and you feel more confident, and you want to be like them, and you want to speak like them. And this is a photo, actually, I try to share some of my thoughts on how to empower more women uh, in Hong Kong and some of my plan. So now I will talk about how you could find your dolls. First, you have to connecting. Um, first, uh, let me give you a brief view of connecting. There's uh, so much more possibilities than you could imagine. 
First, you could connect ideas with different ideas to create new and unusual concepts. And you, you could connect diverse people with combined talents, experience, as well as perspective. You could also connect people's needs and wants to solve the bigger problems. You could connect ideas from different places across geographicals and sectors. And you could also connect media, channels, and market network to amplify the impact. You could also connect marketing in new ways to operate in different, uh, different and better. And what I truly like and believe is like I like to connect people with people to build a richer community. So, this is a box, and I already told you, by connecting practical dots, you could find the door of the box. So oftentimes, I told my friends, you have to try your best if you have the chance to listen to the pitching from startup founders, because you could get the energy and their unique thought on solving certain pinpoints we encounter every day. These are the dots we regarded and think as a status quo. Because actually many years, one things we think is euro, one day was on euro. And we should keep observe the surroundings and never take things for granted. Keep asking yourself, is there anything I could do to change these problems? So it's talk about finding your door. We all had great ideas, inspiring thoughts, and experience from leaders and successful stories around the world. But how could we implement this excellent idea into our daily life is much more important. Find your dog, and then you, should, you could be able to uh, identify your true feelings, filter your unwanted choice, and connect the products to find your dogs. But I would today would give you an execution plan of how you could actually think out of the box. First, it's important to find new information and discover the real cause of the failures, and then prepare for the better future. So uh, I will give you an um, execution plan. Um, thank you. Um, first, you have to be aware of your surroundings. This is using inside the box. Be aware of your surround. Uh, um, you should try as much possibilities as you uh, as you want during your young age. Just imagine the box model. Every time you're in a box, you try to get out of the box. You hit the wall and you lose some blood. It's okay to try uh, when you are young because you will lose little blood. But when you are old, when you hit the wall, and actually you will already die before you find the doors. And second, be aware of your surroundings. Even tiny change could potentially cause a big impact. Why? Just imagine you are inside the box. Suddenly, someone opened the light of the box for several seconds, and you realize, oh, there's a door. So do not close your eyes while you're exploring. You will be easier to find your door. Third, you have to prepare the right mentality to start exploring and do not deny yourself before giving a try. Give yourself some confidence to explore the door and you must believe there's a door waiting for you to open. And accept the failure and prepare to fail forward. You cannot make the same mistakes, just like when you are in the box, you keep hitting at the same position again and again, do not make adjustment, and it's not the right way to do. If you feel something's wrong, evaluate the situation and try to see if, if you can adjustment and make the change. Be proud to take your first move, even though it looks awkward. Just realize that you already find the door, although you're still inside the box but you already done better than others. All you need is to wait and find the solutions to open the door. Then, if you feel like not that determined, find the groups who share the same vision as you. Because it's difficult, I know, the feeling to explore alone. So try to find a buddy, a group, or even a community to work together. Finally, I think this is the most important lesson I learned, is sometimes relate to luck. You cannot fully take credit of your success, nor truly blame others about their failures, because this will help you be more humble and compassionate. Some people might find the doors easier than you, but do not compare, since it's not the door for you. You have to possess a long-term view, because this is 
open the door is just the beginning. You should, what you should expect is what will happen when you open the door. So hope my story could give you some uh, clear um, plan and I myself learned from it. Hope you could also learn from it. And I want to end my talk with a sharing I did previously. As a community leader, oftentimes I keep asking myself, what is the real value added part? Instead of just organize event to catch the attention and misusing the term. Sometimes we set the wrong mentalities to take the challenge. And, and you, you should be able to find a support group and be brave to speak up. For university students today and the young professional today, I think now it's a time to give back to the society. Try to help and influence your surroundings. Be the role model, even among your friend circle. Just try to apply the methodology I taught today. Think inside the box, connect the practical dots to find the door, and then think outside the box. Because you should at least be willing to learn and to, to be able to speak up whom you want to be. And I want to end my talk with a quote I really like, is that the future is already here. It's just not evenly distributed. And I think now it's your time to unbox yourself. Thank you. <laughs>